Hello, Tucson Unified Community. This is your proud superintendent, Dr. Gabriel Trujillo, with a wrap up of all the wonderful things that our governing board did for you, our employees, this evening as it wrapped its first governing board meeting of the new year. Front and center was the board's approval of a comprehensive compensation package for all of our employees in the district. Our communications team will be uh, distributing shortly a graphic that will make it easy for you, whether you're a teacher, you're a counselor, you're an administrator, one of our monitors, bus drivers, or any one of our employees to know exactly what your specific employee group got uh, with the governing board approved salary increases this evening. We also had a very, very good discussion with our governing board about its legislative priorities for the Arizona School Boards Association and how they plan on working with the Arizona School Boards Association to advocate on behalf of public schools and the work that you do each and every single day. Our board approved our first budget revision of the brand new school year. Uh, changes in the state budget resulted in some adjustments for our district budget, namely an additional $2.5 million uh, in one-time monies allocated to the district for better free and reduced lunch availability for our students. We're receiving just a little bit more money per pupil that gave us a little bit more budget capacity in the district budget. So for more information, go ahead and check out the governing board's discussion with our chief financial officer during the budget, the budget revision portion of our presentation. Lockers were discussed this evening and the potential return of lockers for student usage here in the Tucson Unified School District. The administration will be returning uh, with more information uh, regarding the potential return of lockers. Also tonight, our curriculum leadership team, they gave an overview of our governing board about our important literacy and numeracy initiative and how we're utilizing our reading and math intervention teachers that are now funded from our desegregation budget to help serve our students that are working off grade level. For all of the action or to catch the meeting in its entirety, check out the Governing Board website. You can watch a replay of the meeting or as always, check us out on all of our socials, Instagram, Facebook, X, you name it, we are there. Until next time, have a great, great evening.